Hello everybody, Mr. Sixman here, and welcome back to Marble World. This game has just had a massive update, and today we're going to check it out. These are brand new elevator wheels. How amazing is that, guys? And yes, I've made a massive one. But also, we've got spinning gears, which I've used to make this terrifying marble grinder, moving blocks, new props, new paints, new track pieces, note blocks... And a whole lot more. Oh, I can't wait, guys. Let's have a go with it. Right then, now first of all, let's have a quick look around the factory. It's huge. Look how big this building is, and it's got two floors as well. Let's start down here, and of course, we are going to be having a look at all the stuff I've made over here as well very shortly. But first of all, let's have a bit of a, you know, an explore around this place and see what we've got. And over here is one of my favourite things, the Marble Slammer. Guys, look how powerful that thing is. And it actually starts over here. If you go right to the beginning of that kind of track, uh, it starts up here. I've got a spawner there. We're going to actually actually send thousands of marbles down this funnel here, down the chute. They're going to roll down the guttering and eventually end up underneath the slammer and we're going to see what happens when we just smash tons of marbles with that thing guys that's going to be very fun we've also got some moving gears up here on the wall i haven't put those there they're actually part of the map itself and of course i've got a very strategically placed marble spawner so we're just going to pour marbles between those gears and see what happens to them oh yeah and just over here on the left hand side we've actually got some liquid metal and that is a spawner as well there are some very nice decorational pieces as well because we've got these forklift trucks which are really cool i wish we could drive them but unfortunately they're just kind of static objects but they look really nice this one's carrying a giant glass marble. Maybe I can just work some magic and see if we can drive this thing around the factory. Hang on a minute. Right, let's put the magic keys in the ignition. Oh, this thing's got some power. Hey, uh, Terry, Terry, how much power has this thing got? 650 horsepower? Rubbish. Right, let's go then. Whoa, it's quite fast, guys. Whoa. Wait a minute, you can drive forklifts inside the chutes here. That's brilliant. You can even, like, you can fly with it, guys. You can actually fly with the... It's a flying forklift. I knew it was magic. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. This is the best forklift truck ever. We better park it again just before Terry gets a bit annoyed with us. There we go. We just turn it off. Okay. Oh, that's better, guys. Right. Let's get out and carry on, shall we? <laughs> Let's go up these stairs, shall we? I just love how we've got a proper staircase and everything up onto the second floor. And there's a whole bunch of cool stuff up here. We've got this bridge which goes across. You can lay down track if you want to and use that as part of your marble run. We've also got a container here which you can go inside and maybe put spawner tracks in there or whatever. And I'm sure I'm missing a thing or two, but that's the general idea. So what we'll do now is we go down here and have a look at all of the things I've made using the brand new track pieces, the wheel elevators, the grinder which I've made over there. So let's get started with that and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. And over here is one of my favourite new things to come into the game in this update and that is the elevator wheel or whatever it's called. Basically it's used to lift marbles up to a higher level as you can see there's a hole at the back. Let's send a few marbles into it shall we and see what happens and at the end of that track they're just dropping into the holes individually one at a time and uh, eventually when they get up to the top they leave the wheel and start going down the track which I've built just after it and I've done a loop there of course so you can see them go all of the way back round to the beginning and uh, we'll just spawn in a few more marbles there. I'm also spawning them over here by the way we'll have a look at these in a minute they're slightly different versions and setups but isn't that really really nice guys it's just so satisfying isn't it to watch them drop into those holes and be lifted up to the top on that wheel it's a really really cool addition to the game. Now as you might imagine these wheels here are actually fully resizable and that's how I made a giant one over there. It's exactly the same, I just made it much bigger. We'll have a look at that later as well. That's so fun to use that. You can also paint them as well as I've done the red and the white here. But uh, these are the original ones by the way, just made out of wood. Anyway, now let's have a look at the next version of this wheel because it's very similar in a way. But this one has a disc on the back of it which only lets marbles go out the top there, right? But this wheel has no back to it at all so it's just got holes and that means what you can do is kind of choose where you want the marbles to exit so what I've done is I've made them go three quarters of the way around this wheel before they end up leaving it up here on the left hand side okay so it kind of offsets the marbles and lifts them up a bit at the same time and here they are coming out the back of it and they're just running into this teleporter at the end and being teleported right back to the beginning again so they can keep going around forever but isn't that brilliant guys I suppose really it's a bit like a customizable version of this 
uh, which is really nice. And by the way, this red board behind it, I've just made that myself uh, and, you know, stuck it behind and then left a hole back here, of course, as you can see there. But yeah, what you could actually do is put the hole wherever you like and have the marbles exit over here, for example, or down here or up there. You could just choose where you want them to exit the wheel, which is really, really nice. And over here is actually the same wheel that we've got there, but I made it transparent and I've put two of them down as well, just so we've got more to look at, really. And if I press the invisibility key, they do still have the boards behind them to make sure they do exit out that specific hole there. It's exactly the same setup as we got here, except we have two of them. I'll turn that mode off again. Uh, but it's quite cool, isn't it? Just to be able to see them from different angles. And uh, it's it's really fun. Oh no, I've broken it. <laughs> that light blue one there has got stuck inside the wheel. I, I think I've uh, I think I forced it through a hole by mistake. Oh yeah, there we go. Look. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit broken, but it works for the most part. That's my fault, not the, not the game's fault. Anyway, yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite. And you could do so many things with these. You know, this is just a very basic idea. You could do so many cool things with this wheel. And as we're on the subject of these wheels, let's have a look at this giant one, shall we, over here. Now, it works in the same way. Let's just pour, you know, a few thousand marbles into... Oh, hang on a minute. I've just got to turn this marble spawner on. There we are. Right, now, let's spawn in tons of marbles and watch them go into that giant giant wheel they're going to go right up to the top of it and uh, out a hole at the top into that pipe on the left hand side and hopefully end up in this pot here at least that's what should happen let's follow them down then i'm still spawning them in behind us and there's a big traffic jam building up as you might imagine these are the holes coming past right now let's follow them all the way up to the top then and see what happens up here so there's the tube if i just go behind you can see what's happening there there's a giant tube which sort of wraps around the back and then goes down there into our container and let's go inside the tube. I love watching this from here. It's so cool, isn't it? But not many marbles are actually getting out at the top. Only between two and five marbles each time, probably. And uh, that's because there's just so many in there. And the wheel's going quite quickly, isn't it? So I don't think they've got much opportunity. And that's why a lot of them, as you can see, are actually going back round for a second time. And they'll just stay in there until they're lucky enough to get through. Let's follow these marbles down, shall we? And see what happens to them when they get to the end in that giant pot down there. And there we go. As you can see, it's actually working quite well. Look how many marbles are coming down now. That's quite a few, actually. That's more than I expected. But uh, the pot's filling up nicely. We do have a few on the floor over here. They've just run off. They've escaped. But most of them are actually going into the pot, which is great. I just... Guys, this is so fun. I love these wheels. You can also click on them and actually change which direction they go. So I've just changed it to clockwise there. And that's pretty much all the customization you can do, apart from resizing it and painting it as well. Let's go and have a look at the next thing now, because we've got loads more to see let's just delete those marbles for the moment otherwise we'll make a big mess and uh, we'll start again with some new ones okay now we're going to have a look at my marble grinder and this by the way is just made out of the new gears that we've got in the game they can spin and as you can see we've got some controls for them so we can make them go really fast guys check <laughs> look how fast it's going but you can actually stop it i think as well put the speed down to zero and it stops completely that's normally on one so we'll leave it on one for now but uh, you can also change the direction it spins you can choose if it's affected by marbles or not and you can select automatic rotation as well whatever you want there so that's pretty cool really really nice features and one's got a hole in it and one doesn't have a hole in it otherwise they're the same but uh, over here i've made i've used the ones with the hole in and i've just put them on a big sort of bar there look so <laughs> basically you've got a big grinder and a little tray underneath it let's pour in some marbles shall we and see what happens here we go i'll just drop the oh no hang on a minute no the barriers are no hang on stop okay let's try that again here they go <laughs> let's do that properly this time and oh they get through there pretty quick don't they but it's really quite satisfying to watch them get ground up in between those gears and if we put it in slow motion it's even better check this out guys this is going to be amazing okay here we go oh my goodness that is really satisfying look at this <laughs> <laughs> this is unbelievably fun doing this. I love it. Look at the tray underneath. It's just full up with marbles already. Obviously, there's many more uses for, for these gears than just making marble grinders. But this is uh, this is one fun idea that you can use. Oh, no. We've made... Oh, guys, look how many marbles we've got in there. That's over 2,000 marbles in this tray. That's crazy. Don't they look really cool, though, as well? The way they move and stuff. 
I think we better <laughs> I think we better go away from that before we get in trouble. Let's just delete those now. That's the marble grinder. Those are the new gears. And now we actually have some moving blocks. And these are really fantastic as well. If I just speed up the game a bit, we can see this a bit better. There we are. So I've made some different contraptions here to show what you can do with them. This is actually all made out of the same block. This little block here is how it is when you spawn in initially. And all I've done is resized it and reshaped it to make these different inventions here. And if you click on it, you can actually adjust the speed. <laughs> Look how fast you can make it go. And the distance as well. So you can make it go really high. That's quite cool, isn't it? I can't catch it. Oh, there we are. I've got it. I've got it. Okay, just stay down there for a minute. Anyway, let's have a look at what I've made over here then. So what we've got is three of them, but I've elongated them and I've made them go up and down through the floor. So if I go down here, you can actually see how it all works. I've kind of, you know, revealed the magic behind it now, but it's very simple, really. There's just three of them and I've changed the size of them uh, in the properties here. Then over here, I've got another one where I made it really flat and I put it between two posts and it's just sort of like a floor that goes up and down. I've also got this crazy, I don't know why I've got water and lava on these walls but I just thought it'd be quite interesting but I've got like a sort of checkboard style thing here with holes in it right and uh, that's all going up and down together and then over here I've got some horizontal bars which are going in and out and creating some gaps as they move and if we go inside the block we can probably yeah you can see the bars there just working away inside and that's just another amazing update to this game isn't it I mean look at all the stuff we've got I haven't even talked about half of it yet and uh, there's just so much stuff in this update anyway now let's go and have a look at these note blocks over here so if I just spawn in a few marbles now there you go look it just uh, I made a little C major scale <laughs> and basically how it works is each block if you click on it you can actually choose the note that it has and there's loads of options here you've got the sharp notes as well we've got these gray or darker keys just behind so there is a lot of customization there but also we've got these blocks over here and if I just grab this spawner and these are drums and cymbals and things so there we go that's the bass drum snare drum that's a triangle <laughs> and this one is the uh, the hi-hats there as well so we've got really really cool options and i mean we've already got these sounds in the game as actual kind of instruments over here look we've got the triangle and uh, the symbol as well but they're just you know simple block versions of those which might be quite handy for different sort of builds and stuff and we've got this thing as well and that's <laughs> that's just a glockenspiel but i think that's new i think that was just added in this update and uh, you can actually change the note of it here as well like you can with the music blocks but it's just an individual one of these so you can either have the whole stack or you can just have one and you can actually change the size of it as well so if we put that to like 100 for example <laughs> you've got a massive glockenspiel bar <laughs> but basically that's the idea right you can just kind of choose what you do with it but i think now it's time to go over here and use the marble slammer and it actually all starts up here so let's go over to the second level up here right and that's where i've put my spawner track so all we have to do is press that button, send a few marbles into it. They're going to go down the shoes and we'll just put tons more. Don't worry, guys, we're going to put thousands down this thing. We're not going to uh, waste any time here. <laughs> so there we go. They're going to roll down the chute through the funnel. We'll just follow them all the way down. And when they get to the bottom, check this out. They're going to get crushed by the slammer. And basically, it deletes them as soon as they get hit. So watch the number up here. And you saw it just dropped by like a thousand there because we just smashed a thousand marbles with the slammer. But that's really cool, isn't it, guys? We just put some more in in the background as well. Here they come just through the chute right now. And I'll keep spawning them in, so hopefully we won't run out. Uh, they're just jumping over this gap. Look, that's quite interesting. They're staying in the gutter, though. Here they come. Let's, uh, oh, and bang. <laughs> that's really, really cool, isn't it? Let's put some more in. Guys, we've got over 2,000 marbles in the run right now. Yeah, anyway, that's the slammer. And I just love how this sort of big structure here is inside the factory already. So I haven't built any of this. It's actually part of the map. So as soon as you load in, you've got all of this set up. If you just want to have a quick go with it, you can just put a spawner up here. Oh no, guys. I've just made a really big mess on the upper level. <laughs> We better clean that up now before the janitor sees. They're going to get really annoyed with us, aren't they? Now let's have a look at these gears on the wall and then the liquid metal as well. Okay, so I've got a spawner up here and that's just going to do the same thing as we had over there. And I'll just spawn tons of marbles in and we'll watch them <laughs> go through the gears here. Again, I haven't made these gears. They're actually just part of the map. So as soon as you load in, they are there for you to use if you want to. And uh, guys, that's so cool. Let's put it in slow motion so we get a really good view of what's happening here. Just put tons of marbles in up there. Whoa. 
<gasps> Whoa, that's a that is so cool. Look how many are going through. That's amazing. What I really should do is put a deleter because look how much mess we're making. And I've already got 4,000 marbles in the factory now. This is not going to end well, is it? <laughs> but it's just really cool to have these features to play with right off the bat there. Let's go to the next thing then, which is, yes, this liquid metal container. And it's actually quite basic, really. I mean, if I just turn that spawner on i'm going to hold down the spawner button there and look we've got some marbles coming out and uh, all they do is get deleted as soon as they hit the metal so if we just go inside if we're going to go swimming in liquid metal oh, <laughs> and as you can see there's nothing really in here at all um so as soon as they hit that liquid metal layer up there look they just disappear and as you can see the marble number is kind of staying where it is about 280 or so but it is quite cool isn't it because if you're doing an elimination race or you've got a marble run where you want the marbles to disappear at the end of it you can use that as the end of your track or something right what next oh yeah up here we've got some new props now so we've got this big saw we've got a couple of wrenches here uh, a screw and a bolt and a drill and by the way they are all fully resizable so if we go to this saw here and just type in a hundred <laughs> what have i done let's just uh let's go that way and about 500 that way that's the most ridiculous saw i've ever seen in my life let's go over <gasps> guys <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the point is you can mess about with them and make some really silly stuff. If You you could even use that as part of a track, really, couldn't you? Look how big it is. And you can have the marbles dropping through the end. That's actually amazing, guys. We've just discovered a new thing here. Giant saws are brilliant in Marble World. Oh, no, what have I done here? What? Oh, oh yeah, okay, that's the paint. Yeah. So we've got some new painting things as well. Wait a minute, let's just put that saw back to uh, original size. There we go. But you can resize all of these if you want to. However, I don't think you can paint them. Oh yeah, you can paint them, look. You can actually paint the screw here. What else can you paint then? The bolt? You can't paint the drill or anything else. So you can only paint these two, but <laughs> you could make them rainbow if you want to. Neon green or anything like that, but that's just for those two. Okay, next we've got the new paints in the game, and they are two metal paints here. So we've got this really nice textured surface. We could use that for flooring or something like that. Then over here, we've got some panelling with bolts or screws in, uh, which is quite nice. You could use that for walls or flooring again, or anything you want, really, but that's quite cool, isn't it? And down here on the floor, we've actually got some new logic blocks in the game. We have a comparator equal, a number, a counter, and a toggle and i've made a little setup down here just to show you how a couple of them work so we've got this red box and a blue box and as you'll see we've got a counter down there and what's going to happen is as we put marbles into this red box it's actually going to count them and tell us how many there are where this zero is right there okay and then the blue box here is just to reset it back to zero afterwards so let's give an example of that right now and if you just watch this zero down here as i spawn a marble in it should, oh no, it hasn't worked, hang on. <laughs> there you go, look, it's gone one, it's gone two. It doesn't always detect every marble straight away, but it does kind of work. As you can see there, now we've got five, look, and there are actually five in the box, so it has worked now. And then if I spawn one over here into the blue pot, it should reset it back to zero. Hang on, let's just try this again. There we go, it's gone back to zero. I'm not quite sure, maybe I haven't set it up perfectly well, but as you can see, it does work. So let's just put tons of marbles into this. There we go, loads of them. And the counter here, I am in slow motion. So if we speed it up, it should work a bit better. Oh no! <laughs> okay, there's 54 in there now, and some of them have fallen out, of course. But yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? So you can actually like count how many marbles go across a finish line, for example, or how many drop into a pot. Now let's just set it back to... Oh, look at the toggle block flashing there. As it's put tons of marbles into it. But it's just really quite fun, isn't it? And of course, there are many, many things you can do with these logic blocks here. This is just one example. Let's delete those anyway before we blow up the whole game. Oh yeah, we've also got these track pieces down here. I forgot to show you earlier. We've got this new gutter track, which, uh, you know, you can resize it and, uh, and all the rest of it. And you can paint it as well and this one with higher sides as well and i believe this gutter track is actually the same kind of thing as this up here but that's just painted it's you know it's a similar kind of track really so that's really really nice by the way if you want to find those you have to go into free build by placing a track down then clicking on that thing there and then select track type and this is the gutter track down here so just click on that and then click build and as you can see we've built it <laughs> we built it kind of sticking into that one but there it is you can delete that track 
and there it is okay so that's how you get those and it's the same for the higher side one as well that's in there as well unfortunately you won't actually find them in this menu i wish you could that'd be really nice wouldn't it but yes at the moment you can only get them in the free build menu anyway that's it guys we've kind of seen most of the stuff in this update there are quite a few more things actually some really nice changes and fixes and so on i haven't covered everything in the update but we've done quite a lot of the cool stuff i think i hope anyway and it really is a brilliant update isn't it i just love all this new stuff it's going to keep us entertained for hours i think let me know in the comments down below if you like this new update if you've built anything with the new pieces here i really do hope you enjoyed this video anyway please do subscribe if you did enjoy it also hit that like button and smash the bell if you want to stay notified of when my upcoming videos release thanks so much everybody take care and i'll see you in the next video bye for now